Have you ever wondered if the words you're using are the right ones? We live in a society where everything has become fast, even thinking, to a point where it isn't really thinking. Every day we use some terms without thinking because it's easier and faster. But have you ever thought that a word you used that only took you seconds to say, everyone's using it, and that causes you nothing could have negatively affected the person you said it to. It could have destroyed their lives, but you wouldn't know, because you think you used your words correctly, because you're told they're the right ones, and you've accepted it. People created words to address an idea, a thing, or situation. They give names, names that carry a certain energy, positive or negative. But unfortunately, some of these names have been mistakenly given. Learning disabilities is one of the mistakenly given names. It is used to describe people with any various conditions, such as dyslexia, that interfere with individuals' ability to learn and their academic skills, like reading and writing. Most of the time, when people hear this term, they feel pity, sad, and some who are diagnosed with it even feel embarrassed about it. But the truth is, they shouldn't feel those things. It's not a disease, you're not going to die, and it's most certainly not going to determine your life. But will only happen if people tell you it is, and you believe them. I'm dyslexic. Throughout my life, I always felt targeted by that word and the term learning disability. People have made me feel many negative emotions every time I heard those words because the way they use the words made me receive them as something negative. I always felt insecure about it, although there was nothing to be insecure about. When I realized I shouldn't be embarrassed, I started being more open about it and not hide it. But when I told people that I was dyslexic, at the beginning, they wouldn't believe me because I'm considered one of the good students. Because that is the stereotypical idea that has unfortunately passed from generation to generation, that if you're a good student, you can possibly have a learning disability. The saddest thing wasn't that they didn't believe me. I managed to hide it for years due to my hard work. It was more disappointing when we would do something related to the topic in class, and I could see the same people that I had told, people that knew me, feeling pity about someone that had it. I had people tell me, well, I guess a good thing the teacher didn't make you read today. Or when I shared my dream of becoming a primary school teacher, someone told me, isn't it going to be harder for you to become a teacher because you're dyslexic? Even though these people knew me and knew what I could do. At these moments, I realized that the word disability would instantly make people think that I could do less. It made me think that people with my diagnosis might hear the word and think low of themselves, something that could have happened to me if I wasn't raised by people believing in me and who made me believe in myself. People with dyslexia and other diagnoses are told to have learning disabilities. But that term is incorrect. Disabili the word disability means that you lack the ability to do something, in this case, to learn, which isn't true for these people. In Greek, learning disabilities are called mathesiakes dyskolies, which means learning difficulties, which is, again, wrong. Since there are ways to help people with learning disabilities and help them learn, then it isn't really a disability or a difficulty. They're not having difficulty learning. They're having difficulty learning the way provided in schools. They just learn differently. For example, when I was in primary school and we were learning the multiplication table, the teacher told us to learn it by heart. And at the time, 
it was pretty difficult for me to do so. How did I learn it? Well, my mother found this book that you could learn the multiplication table with stories. And by using that method, I could remember everything easily. So why does a different way of learning has to be categorized as a disability rather than just a different way of learning? Society has made a specific way of learning used in schools and is forcing students to follow it, saying this is the only way, the right way. I hate to break it to you, but there are a million ways to teach and learn something. Because of this monochromatic system, students that think differently are told that they cannot learn and that they will never achieve anything. This ma makes students think that they are incapable and dumb. There are even cases when students have been told these things by their teachers and fellow students. I have been told that myself. Because I can learn something your way, doesn't mean I can learn it at all. I learn my own way. I'm simply different. I don't know why people are mostly using the word different as something bad when it's quite the opposite. Having plurality in thinking can change the world. Because you might see a dot in the wall, but I might see the universe. So. When I become a teacher, I will never say to a kid, you can do this, so stay aside. No. I'm going to tell them, you can do it. Let's try another way. To me, it's more important if I manage to teach every single student that one thing, rather than 10 things to half the class. I want to be the teacher I never had in primary. And I want to make everyone understand that being different doesn't make me disabled. Thank you.